This is a package that I've received. It's mysterious. I don't know what is inside it. Let's open and see what is it. Okay, let's see what is inside. Okay, these are uh, shredded paper. Paper, paper. Okay, paper. Hmm, what is this? Oh, that's a tripod. Metal. Beautiful tripod. Looks really interesting. Kind of sturdy. Okay, that's the tripod. And what is this? That looks interesting. Oof. A telescope. Let me read what is written here. Bush and lump zoom 60 millimeter telescope the discover bush and lump bush and lump that is a good quality old style and that is 60 millimeter and let me just open the dust cap okay a quality dust cap is like this a screw there is no danger by accident they fall or anything. So let's see. Mmm, look at the lens. Multicoated. Let's see the other side of it. Oh, oh the the dew shield is also there and that is also screw on. So again some Good sign. Oh, the dew shield is sliding. You can slide it up and down, the dew shield, and it stays there. Mm, that looks impressive. This is like to look like the adverts I used to see when I was in the 1970s in the magazines. Okay, interesting. A sturdy tripod, which can take anything. It's quite heavy. And metal, full metal, nothing plastic except this here. Which is a thin film just to give a padding. The rest of it is all metal. Ah, look at that. Really good photographic. This is the posh ones that they used to sell in the 1970s. Now, like the 2000 decade of 2000, that posh capitalists used to buy this kind of <laughs> offices and other things. They used to buy the meat. Uh, ETX for their offices and so it was advertisement in those kind of places this one was like that on those times and that was the highest quality you could have you know find uh, for a spotting scope or desk display and now we have it now here beautiful the way that you focus this is uh, by this ring you have to turn this ring and this ring also will uh, change the zoom lowest zoom is 15 times and the shortest distance is uh, seven and a half meter and i tested it it looks nice it doesn't have any chromatic aberration so hopefully this is a good telescope for astronomical observation also it's for terrestrial practically with this kind of eyepiece but uh, we will see i will put it on this mount just to see how it will take it uh, I will put it on this mount just to see how it take it. Okay, um, it looks very nice on the tripod, easy to maneuver around. And uh, let's now see how we can focus on the famous can, the Coca-Cola Coke can that is somewhere in this uh, garden. And the interesting thing is that you can finally adjust the uh, altitude with this screw. That's interesting. And there's another one here for azimuth. Let's see what we can find here.
Okay, this is the lowest zoom. Now let me take it to the highest zoom. I must say in the lowest zoom is the picture is completely free from any chromatic aberration and that makes it really suitable for you know wide angle viewing. The only problem is that the eyepiece is uh, at a, at a straight through eyepiece so I wonder if I can change this but uh, um, I may not be able but that's good for terrestrial use really good really clear picture and the mount is superb I wonder if I can use my spot in the spoke of open that presser astroscope binocular let me go have a go now just let me try it